has caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide patents, and inventor of the Weedless Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. For over 20 years I've published and syndicated a chart on the moons and moon phases, not only moon phases but the actual times of day that fish are supposed to bite. And what you have to understand about the moon is there's so much hocus pocus around it, but the more hocus pocus and the more mythology there is around something, especially something as old as our understanding of how the moon phases and moon times relate to fish and wildlife activity, the more there of that there is, probably the truer it is because before we had writing and before we could pass stories down, we did it in the form of lore, you know, and basically ancient man understood the importance of the moon but he didn't know why so he just made up stories and those stories come to us and make us not believe in the moon phases but I've done a lot of studies over the years and I found that the moon affects fish in many ways of course we all recognize that the spawn occurs right on the full moon and right on the new moon every spring and there's a huge surge to the beds on those particular moon phases and what you have to realize is that people uh, become more and more in control of their environment and fish are very little control. They're driven by their environment so the moon has a lot stronger effect on a lot of wildlife and the lower it is in the chain the more effect it has. You know you'll have mayflies all hatch on a full moon. What happens is a predator like a bass will set up for these activity phases so they're basically capitalizing on the fact that after they spawn the bluegill are going to spawn the month after or the crappie are spawning the month before the bass spawn. So they're, and they're spawning on those moon phases, so these peak activity periods are driven by those. And uh, when you think about how it works, you, you don't have to imagine like a strong tide or any other indicators that we might see in salt water because the fish just need to have a clock. Organized activity is always more productive than disorganized. And we organize our activity according to the watch. You know, when the big hand's on the 12 and the little hand's on the 8, we all go to work. And you know, at 5 o'clock, we all come back. At noon, we all go to lunch. And by organizing our activity that way, we can be more productive in the workplace. And a fish doesn't have a watch, but they do have a clock that sets every two weeks when the moon goes from new phase and starts getting larger every day to when it goes to full moon and starts getting smaller every day and they perceive these peaks and they know that they can organize their activity and their clock is reset literally every two weeks for them and in terms of that they organize activity and they get together and they do things in an efficient manner and that's what makes a predator effective so look to these full and new moon phases as peak activities for big bass and you know we'll be talking too about the times of day that, that and how the moon affects us on the times of day and everybody that saltwater fishes knows this because they know about tides and tides vary every day sometimes there's four but at least two tides every day and there's four periods every day that fish are active in and those are what we call majors and minors and the majors would coincide with high tides and the minors would coincide with low tides and the fact that these tides don't flow doesn't mean that the fish can't perceive them just by setting their clock and going into a what they call a circadian rhythm and and they can put fish literally in a basement in a concrete vault and they've watched them actually respond to moon phases when they have no outside perception it is because they've set the clock and the clock runs down to, to, according to a timer which's in the fish's brain and so fish do respond to these phases the 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 major periods occur when the moon is either up or down and uh, both of those generate a high tide and when the moon is on the horizons it generates a low tide, it pulls the water away from us and so we end up with these tidal phases every day whether it be fresh or salt water. I found these periods to be highly effective in predicting the activity of big fish especially the big fish because the big fish follow rules and organized patterns to be more efficient feeders and with a, and logging of hundreds of fish I found that the miners are about three times as effective as fishing outside of these periods and the majors 
somewhere around 500% productivity in that two hours of the day. So remember, you're going to have major periods about 12 hours and 20 minutes apart and minor periods. And if you look to these moon phase charts like Doug Hannon's Moon Times, and you, we, we sell it in a wheel form, or, or you can get it on our website, DougHannon.com, you can predict the best times to fish. And, and I, I find that we get a lot of feedback on people saying, man, I never believed that, but it was right on. And the way to test that for yourself is simply this. Go fishing. When you catch fish, come back and check the time. See if they were right. Don't go out fishing during the time and try to impose that on the fish. I always found it's better to ask nature rather than to tell nature what we're doing. If you've enjoyed today's edition as much as I have being here for you, then don't forget, click on that button and send this to a friend.